Welcome back to my channel. So today I have on a newie, a newbie. I am doing a first impressions video, so I thought why not do a first impressions on my lips. So I am trying the one that I found as a dupe for the Sephora one. This is the one from Wet n Wild and it's called Mega Cushion soft matte lip cream same applicator and everything um even i'm down to probably like the same color but i find sephora's just a tad more comfortable these i can feel it's there but sephora's is just just a smidgen. I mean, this is good. I, I'll wear it, and like if I had an opportunity to get it again, I would. But hi, Riley. Come up here. The uh, Noir Velvet Vo Volor Volume Mascara. Anyways, it's in this octagon kind of shape, and. You gotta be careful because he's, he's got a couple out there. And it's got the hourglass um, applicator. So, absolute wonderful, wonderful eyelashes. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so first impressions I'm doing on highlighters, blushes, and some some bronzers before I put them into my April faves and flops because I haven't done the first impressions on them yet so I don't know if they're going to be a fave or a flop right so here I am doing that because you're not supposed to know but I am also going to do a first impressions on this because I did use it I think it's more geared towards uh, dry skin, normal skin, maybe combo dry skin, not oily skin. My skin was oily all day that day and you could see when I took off the mask my face was like just a sheet of oil. So I mean awesome concept, great idea by Charlotte but She's got to come out with one for oily skin because this one is just, it's not, it's not, it's too oily. Like my, my I, I wanted to wash my face so bad, but I wanted to give it a good, re like a, a solid review. Like I wanted to go the whole day and see how my skin reacted and it was oily all day. I just, when I washed my face, I, it felt so good. <laughs> so, enough about that. Okay, so, this is a new thing at the uh, drugstore. It's the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Matte Bronzing Powder. And I thought it was a powder, but it feels, it feels like, um, it's not a dry powder. It feels like um how do i explain it it f almost feels wet but it's not you know what i mean like i guess and this is in glam bronze long wearing matte powder enhances tan and prolonged sun kiss glow effect with a tan boosting formula containing a beta carotene and vitamin E uh, complex. So, not for oily skin. Nope. <laughs> These guys and the two blushes. I've had this bronzer before, so I've used it before. And I love it. Like, it's a great bronzer. This is what it's like. This is what this one feels like. Buttery. Uh, I didn't want to say 
Oh, it goes in, it goes on like butter, because that's all I ever say. Oh, it feels like butter, it feels like butter. I should get a shirt saying, it feels like butter. <laughs> hey, Charles Gross, get on that, make me a shirt. It feels like butter. <laughs> that's what it feels like, but this isn't oily. Like, I don't know what they have in here to make it oily, because when I use this, my skin doesn't react the way it does for that, so there's obviously something in here that, I don't know, <laughs> but the blushes, oh, I love the blushes, this one is in Natural Glow and Plum Rose, I love the Plum Rose. I love it. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's got like a little hint of purple. And it's just, oh my goodness, like it's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like a highlighter, um, highlight um, blush. And this is more of a matte one. Um, these... <laughs> I'm not going to swatch them all, but I'm just going to show you. I am so happy to get these. You guys, I been every time I went on Wet n Wild site, they were always sold out of these. They were always sold out of their highlighters. Their highlighters, the good ones, and the other good ones. And blushes, I love. I don't know what it is about this. I have the... Um, the next one, which is in my April favorites, which is right behind me, look at that, like, I just, I, but, I mean, this one is a lot more toned down, <laughs> but, I mean, you see the, the, the relation to it, right, like, this has purple in it, but, I mean, I just think this is the most beautiful thing. And the thing is, you can wear these as eyeshadows, too. I mean, you, that's the good thing about makeup. You can wear them any way you want. This one here, it's like a peachy kind of color. It's really pretty. It's uh, the Princess Daiquiri's. These, I live for these. I have, you know, us in Canada... I, this is, I just got these now, okay? I just got these now. That's how long it takes us in Canada to get these because they were sold out. These ones I really like too. These are the next. This one is uh, supposed to be a blush. It's called Beach Babe, but it's more of a... A bronzer to me. I mean, it's 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 brown, like completely brown. Unless that's what you're going for. And then this one, um, I, I first impressions. I know you've seen these before, but I'm telling you my first impressions now before they go into my April favorites or flops. And I can tell you, I love this. I wanted to put this on because it matches my shirt kind of, except this is more blue toned and my shirt, but I wanted to wear it really bad because I, I think it's... <laughs> no, I wouldn't wear it like that. <laughs> but I do like colors like that, you know? It blends out pretty good with your hand. That's what I mean. Like, it's a really nice blush. And it's really inexpensive, too. So, I mean... I like it. I like it a lot. This one, I've always liked this. Like, this is the Clinique one. Like, it's really pretty. It's called uh, Peach Pop. And this quill, 
I like it. It's uh, more of a dry consistency, but it's a really pretty color. It's like a, just like a neutral color, but it's really pretty. And uh, can't forget Laura Geller. I love this uh, Baked Blush and Brighten Tropical Hues. Um, my desert half mirror. And I just, I love, I love this. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. On the cheeks, like, oh, it's, I love, I love her, her stuff. It's really pretty. These, I wanted to get my hands on these for so long when I seen them. As soon as they come on, like, I get the emails, but when I go on site, they're already gone, right? So, I mean, look at that. Just for a cheap highlighter, and they were on sale, too. Like, look at that. That's almost like the uh, Alchemist from Kat Von D. It has a, a iridescent uh, lavender violet kind of shade. Like, that's gorgeous. Look at that. For so cheap. Oh my goodness. And I can't forget Rodeo Drive. I got this from... Oh my god! <laughs> they are... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> they went wild stepping up. <laughs> no, just kidding. I mean, this is a lot more money than went wild. Um, I look like a clown. <laughs> my lips match my cheeks, match my shirt. Hey, Buzz. <laughs> uh, this is another um, perfect flush blush. Um, by Too Faced, I really like, I, I, just, I like these colored ones, like they, I mean, you can always get a different color all the time, it's just really, really pretty. Um, they, these are okay, um, I, I wouldn't, you know, write home about them, but they're okay, I mean, they'll do in a pinch, I was out, this is the NYX uh, Dual Chrome chromatic uh, illuminating powder <laughs> another one uh, but has less illumination than the other one this is the new essence strobing highlighter which I do like I like this I like this a lot this was only like three something I mean look at that I mean right there like for three dollars and something or whatever it costs, it's called Let It Glow. I mean, Essence has some awesome, awesome products. And this is the next matte bronzer. I'm not fussy on it. It's got a lot of fallout. Um, and it's patchy when I put it on my skin. Marc Jacobs. This is Promiscuous uh, Shameless Bold Blush. I really like this one. I'm running out of fingers, guys. <laughs> I like it, and I love the color. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. I'm running out of room. <laughs> and I love the case so I don't break a nail. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm about to. This is the Sephora I Love Cushion. Uh, bronzer in light medium. I really like this one. This one's really, really good. It's, um, and it blends, like it blends really, really well. Really, really made my day to get one of these. You know, you, you have no idea. It's just, after so so long of waiting and then they still remembered i mean that's awesome so i got two of them so another giveaway i'll give one maybe or i don't know and last but not least this is amazing i this guy's 
graffiti is absolutely awe. <laughs> I love these blushes, but let's let's talk about the packaging for a minute, okay? This guy is amazing, and all his packaging is awesome. I think I'm getting an eyeshadow palette. I think. But, I mean, this, look at that, that, that's his color. And then, oh, this bronzer is like butter. <laughs> and I really, really love this one at the end, my pinky. I have to make it nice and clean because it's so pretty. I mean, th these are absolutely like they're pigmented, they go on smooth, but it's this guy who, I mean, all of his, his stuff is this kind of and it's strong like it's really strong in by urban decay and you get um four four point two five grams so each one of them is four point two five grams that's pretty darn good that's pretty darn good for a a quad that a blush that's I am just amazed by that, and I just, I can't, I just, I can't wait for the eyeshadow to come, but that's going to obviously be in my May favorites, and if you're wondering why you're not seeing stuff in my April favorites, it's because I got them too late in the month um, to try them, you know, like the, for instance, um, the um, Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills Aurora um, Glow Kit. I never had a chance to try that, so I didn't have a uh, first impression. And so that's going to be in the May um, favorites, along with a bunch of other ones, like the Sephora Mixology and just stuff like that. Because what I have in here is stuff I got either late uh late march or early to mid april so that's what april favorites is gonna be i have another two three bins here um i might combine two um oh shit i have four one two i have five more bins here and one of them is April favorites, and the other four are first impressions, and some of the first impressions will be going into the April favorites. So for people who miss this video or new subscribers, they get a chance to see um, you know, it's just, and if you don't like to watch it, you don't have to. I mean, it, <laughs> I, I wanted to share this with you, but I found this in my, um, lip drawer. It's the, uh, Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream in Camellia. It's, uh, I love, I, no, no. It's a little, uh, lip Lipin thing. Riley, come here. Come. Up, up here. It's a pretty color on the lips. <laughs> so I wanted to share that. Riley, get down here. Riley. 
over here. So that's, that is one of my uh, first impressions. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know if you want to see more because I do have a lot of stuff that I've collected this month. So um, I do want to share it with you. So I'm, I'm going to film them, but hopefully you'll like them. Um, I hope um leave me comments in the description box i love uh reading them and answering them um i hope you guys are doing well i'm still in pain for my tooth but we'll see what happens tomorrow when i call them and tell them to give me a stronger antibiotic <laughs> all right guys i love you you are beautiful inside and out don't ever forget that Buzz and I say we love you. Keep smiling, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.